Well, learned a ton of stuff. I got one of the, let's see, one of the hooks might be a little bit in front of the other one. The springs are too weak. That's what Tony said he did to his. Uh, put some air back in the Rizzy shop dampener. Got the spring in there. Uh, I'm gonna put bigger wheels on it. It should lean about that far, that's enough. And, and about that far, about that far. And about that far. So, I'm gonna go get some more roller blades and turn some new ones down because it's leaning too far. And there's the lock. Um, and, but yeah, I learned a whole bunch of stuff down in there about the nuts and bolts and changing. I bet I changed a ton of nuts and bolts different stuff and I'm not done yet more changing easier to take apart and put back together you see the Rizzy back there in the roller blade wheels but these are too small it leans way too far and starts skidding well, when I got it, didn't even have any, so, you know. So, if, if you let it lean about right there, and maybe about right there, it'll be good. And, and I'm not sure if this thing is getting worn. I don't know yet. Sometimes it seems to lock. Uh, and then, I don't know. It's probably all right, I hope. But the triangle, uh, or the arrowhead, you see the arrowhead? Um, that's, where, that's where the lock mechanism is. Here's the front brake. The rear brakes are not on right now. There's the tilt lock. And this brake is gone. Uh, machine shop will start on the new axle for the Sturmy Archer spoke wheel up here. What do you say? Monday. Bring it out there Monday and start making new axle for the Sturmy Archer. I just got that rim brake on here for right now. It does good. You can ride around the neighborhood. Uh, I'm about, that's about a hit, man. This thing is so simple. It's a keeper. I'm going to take the outriggers back to 32, like the other Velo Tilt, the one at the machine shop. This one's 42 wide. They did a test in the Netherlands because they have terrible winds sometimes in the year. They're just ridiculous. So Wim said they they did it, they wrote it with the 42 wide, but we don't need that here and you can't go anywhere. So I'll just cut those, re-weld them back, 32. Well, Joe will. Um, and that's it. I think I need some stronger springs. That might be about it. And there's the beautiful upper. And uh, I'll let you see in there. Um, there's one of the hinges hanging down. It swings up and forward. And the other hinge so over here on the wall, I had to, 
I had to repair that centerpiece that was broken. So it's all good now. One goes here where that crossover is. And the, uh, there's another crossover hole right down there. I don't know if you can see it, but. So that's it. This is simple. This is a great bike. Rolled off. Should have a slump there, but you know, it's all right right now. Probably gonna put a pinion there and a slump where the roll off is with Gates belts. That's what I'm gonna do. You can do whatever you want. So there's three matching tires, F lights, big tires and tubes. I made a new seat plug. I'm making a new seat mold. Um, it's on, it's on uh, Facebook and recumbents.com. You can go to and follow this. And Laid Back Bike Report is doing podcast on the 16th. On Sunday at 2 o'clock, you can watch that. That's it.